again we came with a new product that is mead today ah a new one new telescope we have already given so many things on our telescopes also today we are introducing mead 700 by 70 the 70 mm telescope so this is suman from sky watching workshop presenting you the installation and unboxing of me 700 by 70 mm telescope okay friends let's start uh, unboxing the wonderful beautiful colored telescope we have uh, seen that all telescopes comes with the base color black now this is a wonderful color with blue the telescope which will give you a wonderful experience on exploring the sky so friends let's start unboxing and let's start the installation process let's meet all of the so many main uh, telescopes are here now we'll see what is there inside the box So this is very easy and this is the starting telescope and it's very easy to install. I will show you how to install that. I will see this is the tripod. Inside the box is the uh, eyepieces. Two eyepieces came with this telescope. This is the first eyepiece of 9 mm. This is a 9 mm eyepiece. You can see 
the maximum magnification eyepiece which came inside the box is 9mm Second one is it came inside this box. It's 26 mm. Friends, uh, by all the telescopes, 20 mm and 4 mm is the IPC scheme. But this is the fantastic thing which I have seen. That is the 26 mm. The maximum magnification is 26 mm, and the minimum magnification is. 9 mm uh, eyepieces are provided by me to see the broader area of the sky and the zoomed area of the sky. This is the 26 mm eyepiece and this is the 9 mm eyepiece. So I'm just keeping this inside the plate. The next thing which they are providing is a 2x parlor. 2x parlor. Barlow lens which will give you the zoom of two times of 9mm uh, uh, eyepiece and the 26mm So, this is 2mm uh, 2x Barlow lens provided by me. This is a fantastic diagonal. This diagonal will be connected into the telescope to view the uh, object by the uh, eyepieces in night vision. Okay, so this is the diagonal. And the fantastic part of this telescope is the red dot finder. All other brands are providing the cross section uh, finder scope, but this is the red dot finder which is available inside the box for this. 70 by 700 feet telescope. So this is the fantastic one. This is a fantastic one which will guide us at the night with a red dot marking. So it's very easy to find the objects in the sky by that red dot rather than that cross section. So this is a fantastic uh, accessories which are provided by me. And obviously this is the clock for cleaning the lenses which came inside the box and two screws to tighten the uh, this, this telescope into this tripod I will show you how and a normal screw screwdriver ok that's when we start installing the telescope to the tripod so first of all when we will install the telescope we have to do one thing that is the position of the tripod so this is the position of the diagonal one and this is the upside one so we have to install the telescope on this lower side one we have to uh, check this that the telescope will be installed on the lower side the front side of the telescope will be in the lower side portion not on the this side portion okay so now we will put this telescope and we will tighten all the screws which are been provided so this is the one screw see I'm locking this screw over here and the second screw on the other part let's tighten it properly now the next portion you have to do Install this directional key into this telescope. So first of all you have to open this key by try to remove this key by pulling this anti-clockwise and now it's open. Then you have to put this inside this channel. Again you have to put this thread and just put it through clockwise. 
keep it in the mid of the thread. Find it, it should be in the mid of the thread, not at the end, not at the start position of the thread. Now tie this one. So your telescope is ready. Very easy, very easy to install. Anyone can install a kit can also be installed. Now it is ready to use. See, it's moving right and left. The key which is adjusting this is this one. If you type this key properly, then this movement will stop. If you lose this key, a certain limit, this will start moving right and left. And move this uh, telescope up and down. But you have to, you have to lose this. Just lose it. A certain, and you will see it is moving up and down. Okay. Suppose what is the use of this? Stand. First, target the object by using the horizontal and vertical key. Then type the horizontal key and the vertical key properly. After you have uh, already uh, targeted the object, if the object, suppose the, uh, you are looking up the moon or Jupiter or Saturn. So whenever you are looking for some seconds, so that object will automatically move according to the rotation of the earth. So you have to uh, follow that path. So whenever you are just looking to that object, when the object is moving from your uh, uh, this telescope, then you have to just adjust this knob accordingly. So this telescope will start moving with that object. So this is very, really, this is called the fine tuning. Uh, key on the telescope. See, whenever you are adjusting it, it is going up and down. And for the adjustment of uh, right, left and right, you use this key and you have to move this key like this. Now I will show you how to install that red dot finder. Friends, this is red dot finder. Now I am just showing you, whenever you receive the red dot finder, this is the portion of the battery and you will get a plastic is, uh, in between the positive and negative part of the battery so why is this plastic is provided this connector is provided for not draining the battery now you will get a key over here this is the on off key of the red dot finder this is the on off key of the red dot finder you will get this key under the red dot finder this will adjust the red dot finder up and down and you will get another key on the left side of the left side of this red dot finder which will adjust left and right adjustment of this red dot finder why these keys are available over here because whenever we put the red dot finder into the telescope we have to make the alignment proper alignment with this red dot finder and the telescope so that whenever at night you are just looking up uh, on any objects you should uh, first look in through this red dot finder after that you have to put your eyes into the uh, lenses and you have to uh, see the object so this red dot finder is very important and we have to properly align this red dot finder in the daytime not in the night time so I will show you on the, uh, this end of this video how to do the uh, alignment of this red dot finder with the telescope Friends, let's, let's we install this red dot finder first into the telescope, then we'll go accordingly. And here it is. You can see these are the two nuts over here. These are the two nuts over here. So I'm just opening these nuts first. Open the battery key so that start connects. Then we will put the enter finder over here and we will tight the screw so that enter finder can be properly.
ready. Now we have to install the diagonal to this eyepiece holder. So here is the dust cover. To remove the dust cover first, remove the dust cover of the diagonal also properly. Put this diagonal by losing the screw on the right side of the portion. Put this diagonal and just tighten the screw so the diagonal can fit properly. Now just open the dust cover and my suggestion is to use the highest eyepiece that is 26 mm eyepiece which has been provided by inside the box to observe the object. So just use it and put the eyepiece into it and start observing. The focuser knob that is same knob provided on the both side of this telescope. So by this focuser knob you have to adjust the focus so that you can see the object properly. See, I am just rotating this focuser knob so it will focus the object in a proper way. So, whenever you are looking at the object, you should focus it properly by adjusting this knob. Now, the telescope is ready to use. So again I am just showing you the two keys on the left hand side of the telescope there is a key this is the key if you lose it this telescope will move right and left after tight it it will lock and on the second part on the right hand side of this telescope there is another key lose it and move it up and down so what is the next part I will show you to finally, finally uh, adjust this telescope properly that is you have to align this red dot finder with this telescope so first of all what you have to do you have to just look at any object by this eyepiece first you should use the highest eyepiece that is the MM eyepiece in this telescope and first look after an object by this 25, uh, 26 mm eyepiece whenever you got that object in the middle of this 70 mm uh, telescope then you start looking the object through this finder scope first of all you have to switch on while you just switch it on the red dot will be in a mid uh, brightness. There are another portion that is 0, 1 and 2 showing in the key switch. So 0 is the off, 1 is the mid light and 2 is the brightest light. So put it to 2, the bright light will come. Put your eyes over here in the uh, finder scope and you start looking at that object which you have already seen to this 26mm eyepiece will find the object will be not in the middle of this finder scope. Maybe it will be in the top or the bottom of the eyepiece or on the left or the right of the eyepiece. So friends I have already shown you. So this one will what it will do it will operate operate the finder scope to move right and left and this key will operate the finder scope to move up and down. So whenever you are just uh, uh, observing the object by this eyepiece 26 mm eyepiece at the middle of the telescope after putting your eyes over here to the finder scope and you will see the object is not in the middle of this finder scope now you have to access that object in the middle of the uh, uh, finder scope how you will do you will just uh, rotate these two keys the under uh, uh, key and the left hand side key to adjust that object in the middle of the Finder scope. Whenever you got the object on the middle of the uh, uh, finder scope, the ob now this finder scope and the telescope is actually aligned, 100% aligned. So at night, whenever you are just looking after any bright star in the sky or the brightest object in the sky, suppose you are looking after the moon or the brightest. So first of all, you want to keep your eyes over here. You have to see 
the bright star with this red dot pattern, the red light will be into that bright star. Whenever the bright star will be in the mid of this microscope, then you put your eyes on 26 mm, then you can see the object in the telescope. It's very easy to find and very easy to install. So very easy two three steps. I've already shown you how to install this telescope and how to install the microscope and align the microscope. Now, if in future, if you want to see that object, suppose you are looking after moon or Saturn, the Saturn will be this one. Whenever uh, you want to see the Saturn more uh, near uh, to this telescope or in a zoom position, then you have to remove 26 mm and you have to put the 9 mm uh, eyepiece into it. So, whenever you first of all, you have to target with this 26 mm eyepiece. After targeting the object in the middle of the telescope, you remove this 26 mm and put the 9 mm into it. Then you can see that object becomes big. So by putting more laser uh, unit of the eyepiece, this more uh, zoom of the object. So whenever you put that 9 mm, you will see the object is more zoom, more big. So this is the part and what is the uh, use of this 3x bar low? If you want to use this bar low, so I have already uh, said earlier that this bar low will make the uh, magnification twice. So how you put the bar low? You have to remove the eyepieces first. Then second you have to remove the dust cover of this bar low and the front dust cover also. Put this eyepiece over uh, the, this bar low over here first. Put this barlow first, then you have to put any of the lenses, suppose 26 mm lens or 9 mm lens. If you put 9 mm lens, then the power of the lens will be half. That means that will work like 4 mm lens. Okay, so the zoom will be 2 times of the main eyepiece. So after putting this, then what is the process of Using the barlow, first you have to put the barlow over here, then you have to put the eyepiece in the top of the barlow. First, we have to for using the barlow also remember it. First, you have to observe the object by the highest uh, measurement of the eyepiece that is 26 mm. Put that uh, object or in the mid of your telescope. Whenever you can view the object in the mid of the telescope, then you remove this 26 mm, put this. 2x barlow first, then put the 26 mm into it, and again you have to access the object to take it in the middle of the telescope. So, friends, uh, this is the total uh, installation process uh, unboxing of this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful colored telescope which I like so much, and the benefit of this telescope is it's magnificent. Fantastic, fantastic magnification. The night sky are really clear. You can see the ring of the Saturn. Clear, totally clear. You can see Jupiter, you can see uh, Mars, Venus, Moon, Moon craters, Orion Nebula, and the night is beautiful. You can see that. And if you know about the sky properly, you can explore so many things by this. Part again, as we are saying, is red dot finder which they have already provided in this. So it's fantastic, it's the most useful uh, accessory for the color of the telescope. Okay, friends, have a nice exploration through this space with the main. Now, the link is given little below to book the product as soon as possible. The stocks are limited, more stocks are coming. So just enjoy your exploration through the sky by me, 700 by 70. Thank you.